All right, what is up, everybody? It is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Christmas Eve here. Gonna be doing a full day of eating. This video might be up way past Christmas Eve, but it's all good. I still want to show this, and you know, this will still be valuable to you for later in the year. Any other kind of you know event that you're going to, this applies to any kind of birthday parties, anything like that. How I'm gonna eat is basically how I recommend eating. So uh, it's now one o'clock. Haven't eaten yet. I got up, been working, um, trying to get in the first meal here. So. Uh, you're going to see it's going to be very, very simple here for the first meal, and uh, I'll be kind of explaining that throughout the video, but let's see, let's see what, gonna, what I'm going to have to eat here. All right, just going to do this one serving here. It's like probably right under one serving, or right around, I think it's four ounces of, um, I got to do the calculations from grams to uh, ounces and then see how much it is and all that good stuff, but just one of these here, mahi-mahi fish fillets with rose organic rosemary on it very anti-inflammatory anti-aging anti-carcinogenic um probably gonna have one of these bananas too um so mainly getting protein in i'm gonna get some not really doing this necessarily for carbs but for vitamin c just uh, potassium as well health reasons and then i'll take some of these with me for uh when i'm at the mall maybe for like a, a light lunch as well so that's it from here one that and that that's it, keeping it super light, still getting, you know, good protein in the body, keep the muscle build process going. All right, everybody, it's now 5.04. I just went over to Chipotle, closed. So I was going to have like some Chipotle chicken and a banana, so I'm going to have this banana. I think it's 219 grams, I just weighed it. I'm uh, just going to go to the Chick-fil-A inside of the mall and get a 12 count of their grilled chicken nuggets to get. That's like 210 calories, I'm not sure the protein off the top of my head, but again, slamming the protein in keeping the carbs low well because i don't want to go super low in calories i may eat another banana because well i'm probably going to eat at my mom's and i'll go home and finish off eating so i want to kind of have a balance i don't balance i want to wait save all my food for the end of the day um because i still a lot of food i don't want to cram up with just like macaroni and cheese and turkey you know what I'm saying? i actually want to get you know i really want to get in some like so i'm doing bananas on grapes and uh, spinach and carrots, you know, getting some good, very good micronutrients that's actually going to improve, you know, the health of my body and speed up recovery because I'm going to lift tomorrow, which is Christmas. Um, so, going to have that and a serving of 12 count nuggets. And again, that's what you want to do though. If you're saving up for this big meal at the end of the day, get in your protein because you're probably normally the big, huge meals like that are normally going to be loaded with carbs, loaded with carbs, and sometimes very high in fat too. Uh, sometimes the protein can be decent on certain meals, but normally the protein isn't going to be what you need it to be. If you just ate regular the rest of the day, you're going to be way over calories and under protein. So really hit your protein goals early in the day. Um, and if you're like, you know, trying to be extra strict about it, just do protein. You know what I'm saying? Add some greens or something. You don't have to do the bananas. Because banana, that's still like a 200 calories, something like 180, 200 calories, something like that. So um, again, that's for me personally. I don't want to just just protein but that's how you do it when you're, you're trying to eat out and go somewhere different or whatever like you save up basically your calories but you still get the most important uh macronutrient your protein in that you need uh instead of having to worry about it when you go out and you know whatever you're eating your your uh festival your party dinner whatever it is you don't have to worry about that anyway get back in the morning to get to the kiosk i'm gonna run to the chick flan there and get a 12 count all right end up coming out here to kasai japan because the line at uh chick-fil-a is way too long they do it up for me on youtube man but they do it up for me uh yeah merry christmas too brother they do it to me plain so that's how i'm gonna get it I'll show y'all how it's looking all right everybody i got it from the kasai japan they gave me 7.4 ounces i'm only gonna actually eat five ounces i um, don't want to that much of a protein hit because i probably get over protein like by a lot don't want to do that um what i like about here they'll cook it for me completely plain i'll say you know they don't put butter they don't put any oil and they normally do they just cook it 100 percent plain and that's how i like it uh, so i'm gonna get into this this will be the last thing i eat before i go to my mom's we'll open up presents then we'll eat later and then i'll probably eat not probably i'm going to eat um later some when i get back home it's now 5 33 as well here we go. First plate, may have second, don't know. 
but I'm gonna keep it kind of plain. What else y'all got? What was that other yellow stuff up there? They had corn, devil eggs. Brown casserole. Yeah, I'm not eating all that good stuff. Let's keep it plain. Save some room for dessert too. My sister's got two desserts, and then saving food for at home. I'll show y'all what I track this as later. Everybody <clears throat> doing just 80 grams of this wine. Took a quick little sip of this, some wine. Uh, sister got my mom for Christmas. This is absolutely amazing, super dry. I love red, uh, dark red dry wine. So only 80 grams, that's probably all I'll do just to get a little bit of health benefits in. Studies showing if you do drink red wine, you know, two, ma two glasses max for men a day, one glass, one glass max for women. 140 grams is considered a glass, um, but I've, I just saw, I heard of another study recently showing I only get the health benefits if you exercise too. You have to exercise if you're drinking the wine. If you just drink the wine, don't exercise, you get no extra health benefits. So that's really the main reason I'm drinking it, uh, health benefits, and it actually tastes absolutely amazing, but mainly health benefits. I'm having this pumpkin crush cake thing my sister made, dude absolutely freaking amazing it's very cinnamony tasting i love cinnamon oh it's amazing i don't know if that may be all i have i'm keep it very moderate so we got a nutella ring and some cookies i might have like one of each a little tiny bottle a little, little bit of ice cream again keeping it very moderate because i want to go home still eat some you know healthy foods as well to get my micros in because i'm going to live tomorrow all right i just had some cooking ice cream check out this story guys look at this all this look at this, all this value here all these videos value but check this out here i just had this right here one big cookie and then all that ice cream i just forgot to record it but guys mod that's what i put in the post here still cutting moderation is key look i'm having foods i enjoy I had that little Pumpkin crunch cake, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna track that. You know, I already already tracked out the uh, the cookie and then the uh, ice cream. Way the ice cream tracked the cookie off of the package. But I mean, look at that cut, and I'm still gonna wake up. I mean, I'm still gonna lose fat for the day. And that is a brand new low weigh in. They're gonna wake up tomorrow, crush a workout. So, gonna go home, get in some more, mic get in my micronutrients as I did early in the early meals. but. That's why you eat smaller. So when you come to these, and still it's moderation. You just don't. You got to have that control with your food. Are you in control of your food, or is your food in control of you? And if, if it's the latter one I just said, the second one, you're in big. You got some bigger problems because nothing externally is in control of you. Okay, it's your internal is in control of everything external. Okay, because this, this everything comes through your brain. So you're in control. Even if things happen externally, there's things you can't control externally that happen, but you control how you react to them and, and how, you, you know, how you react to them so you can look at it in a negative way or look at it in a positive way. Or take the positive, but in this I'm saying you got to exercise that uh, moderation. Okay, so I, I had the crunch cake. I had the cookie and the ice cream. I'm completely satisfied and you would be, you don't have to just go five cookies and a damn half a, ga half a tub of ice cream. That's way too much. So moderation, I'm going to go home a little bit, get in some uh very good micronutrients i'll show y'all what i get when i get back home moderation is key my people if you're looking for a coach uh <laughs> who can teach you these kind of things you know set up the right kind of calories macros everything you need um as a long do that i do the diet and along with the customized workout plans uh all through my app you know i'm constantly monitoring everything you have 24 7 support i'm always on top of your ass well like in a good way because i'm a coach um comment down below I do offer online coaching and uh, we'll see you know we'll kind of chat back and forth see if, I'm not just I don't want to work with just anybody I have to make sure that we are a good work a good fit together for good fit we'll work together guys it's it's, it's a lifestyle it's easy it's not uh, it's not a meal plan I mean I do this for people so I, 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 just, I just I always try to do the calories macro it's so much more flexible it's what it's about being flexible because that's something you can maintain day in day out day in and day out for the rest of your life that's where the gains are going to come the gains don't come from a month or uh, a couple weeks or a month or a couple months of just balls to the wall cutting and just starving yourself to prime yourself you if you know how to do it right or if you hire somebody you know how to do it right can, can coach you and teach you these things that way you can have it forever and you just keep building and building and growing and getting better that's what it's about
All right, everybody, last meal of the day. It is 12.30. I put it all on one plate to make it all in one area for the video here. 193 gram organic banana, or 30 grams organic spinach, 30 grams organic carrots, uh, half a serving, so two ounces of mahi-mahi, need a little more protein, organic rosemary on there, anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory, uh, anti-aging, and then three and a half servings or these organic low sodium rice cakes and that will do it for me today that will put me right at or a tiny bit over 2603 calories 90 percent of the time 99 percent of the time I'm go to zero um, just didn't work out that night the rice cakes were either one gram under or three grams over or three yeah three calories over or one calorie under just went with that um so that's how the calories come out for the day See how the macros broke down. 308 grams of carbs or 49 percent. 76 grams of fat or 28 percent. Had to check to make sure that's right. And then 142 grams of protein or 23 percent. And uh, fats are a little bit higher, but I always say keep that under 30. It was under, over 30 earlier. Um, that's why most of this is, you know, some clean proteins here. Not fat. You know, turkey. A lot of fat in it. The ice cream. High Fat, the cookies high fat the little crunch cake thing high fat so by doing this you know I'm a lot more carbs here mainly carbs and then a good clean protein source with very low fat here to finish off the night that's gonna be it so that's what I'm gonna eat finish off the K cows and then as I'm eating these are just straight up humping going balls deep in that goodness that's disgusting it stinks dude I like a straight up so that's a huge nut blanket and saliva blanket that shit stinks disgustingly right now so this is what i normally game on it's a dynex 22 inch tv i didn't know when i asked for this like six years ago however many years ago i had this seven eight i don't know if it's eight seven six five years ago i asked for this 22 inch tv my mom was buying everybody tvs that christmas i asked for a 22 inch because i want to be you know like a like a pro gamer basically didn't know you know monitors are better a gaming monitor so that's what i asked for this year a gaming monitor and i got this acer it's like a 2b 022q buy or something like that uh, so when i looked up and uh, saw on it it's at, it's like a really really good gaming monitor so while i'm eating i'm going to go ahead and hook this up i'm going to go ahead and stream a little bit stream uh the real g nasty is the tag on my twitch channel and my gaming channel if i can link it here i'll link it if not it'll be in um the related channels back on my home page you'll see i have my kyle gaming art and my gymnastic gaming pages so i'm gonna hop on some halo 3 for a little bit i'm just really stoked to try out this uh new gaming monitor see the different you know way more responsive time here you know just made for gaming made for tv so hopefully you know this i should be able to play a lot better on this and a lot smoother less lag better response time better color like i said everything's just made for gaming here and this is not made for gaming so i'm ready to, you know stoked to take my gaming to the next level with this um so i'm not gonna i'm done talking basically well I think, yeah that'll be it for this i'm not sure i'm gotta edit all this stuff up because i'm doing like a vlog today and i'm doing a full day of eating so that's it for this video the full day of eating appreciate y'all watching i'm um i meant to say earlier i also took uh half of my serving official i got two more officials to take for a full serving of the day fish oil earlier i took uh i forget how many milligrams off the top of my head it might be 500 milligrams of glucosamine ligaments, ligaments and tendons took some asian ginseng one capsule that forget the milligrams off the top of my head and some faux tea forget the milligrams off the top of my head my camera's about to run space uh, i'm gonna do i might have go to cola i might have msm i'm gonna take that night but i'm gonna do my fish oil again that's 45 calories total all right gotta add all that man stuff in but that's it for the video Appreciate y'all watching Stabs to Healthy. See y'all in the next one. Peace out, people. This is how you eat and make gains. This is how you eat and stay on track. Eat what you want. Stay on track. Flexible. That's the way to do it. If you want coaching, comment down below. Say if you're a good fit, we'll work together. We'll see if we can get you your dream body. Peace out.